right, we're talking about triangle congruence shortcuts. And these are in your book if you need to refer back to them. There are six we're going to be discussing in this section. Okay, the first one is called side, side, side. And if you notice in these two drawings, they have all three sides of two triangles marked as congruent. Okay, so if you have three pairs of congruent sides, okay, that's called side, side, side. And we abbreviate that with SSS. Okay, so the abbreviation is SSS. Okay, and this is one of our triangle congruence shortcuts. And we're going to talk about if all of these are true or not. Okay, the second one is side, angle, side. Okay, notice we have a side with one tick mark, an angle, and then a side with two tick marks. So we have two sides marked congruent and an angle. Okay, so two pairs of congruent sides and one pair of congruent angles. I've highlighted here because this is important. The angles that are marked are between the pairs of sides. Okay, when they are in between, okay, where those two marked sides meet, okay, that is called included angle. Okay, so this is an included angle. And notice in the name, angle is in between the two sides. So in the picture and in the name, the angle is included. It's in between. Okay, and the abbreviation for this one is side, angle, side. S-A-S. -S. Angle, side, angle. Now we have two congruent angles and one pair of congruent sides. And again, the side is in between in the title and in the picture. Okay, so when it's in between, it is included. So this is an included side. And the abbreviation for this one, you could probably guess, is going to be ASA. All of the abbreviations are going to be A's and S's for side or angle. Okay, in this one, we have side, angle, angle. So we have a side marked congruent and then two angles. Okay, so only one side, but two angles. And notice that this side is not in between the two angles, okay? And in the name, it's not in between them. So this is an excluded side. Okay, so you need to make sure you understand the difference between included and excluded, okay, for sides and angles. Okay, in the title, it's not in between, and in the picture, it's not in between. And the abbreviation for this one is going to be side, angle, angle. Okay, and then we come to side, side, angle. So we have two sides marked congruent, and then one angle. And notice this is not between the pairs of sides. This angle is not where those two sides meet. It is excluded. Okay, and the abbreviation for this one is SSA. And last but not least, we have three pairs of congruent angles. Okay, no sides. So this is AAA. Now, the, out of these six, only four of them are actual true congruence shortcuts that can prove triangles congruent. Okay, and those are the first four. These last two do not prove triangles congruent. Okay, so you can write these down so you understand what the markings mean. Okay, but these two do not prove triangles congruent. And to help you remember which two are not congruent statements, um, the AAA, because you can have angles congruent in two triangles, Okay, but the side's different, okay, so the triangles would be proportional or similar, but not necessarily congruent, okay? And then this one, if you read it backwards, it spells a bad word. So if that helps you remember, we don't use bad words in math at school. So, okay, if you can spell a bad word, then it is not a congruent statement. Hopefully that helps you remember which two are not congruent statements and which four do prove triangles congruent. Okay, so we're going to use that information to look at some problems. Okay, so before we solve problems, let's just practice looking at what's marked. So in this first one, okay, we have two sides and an angle. Okay, so it's either going to be 
side, angle, side, or side, side, angle. So you are asking yourself, is this angle included? Okay, is it in between? Or is it excluded? Okay, so if it helps you to trace the two sides that are marked, if the angle is where those meet, which it is, then it is included. So this one would be side, angle, side is the way that this is marked. For this one here, we have two angles and a side. So now you're just asking yourself, are these, is this side included or excluded? And if you look at where the two angles are, if we connect the two angles that are marked, different color here, that is the side that is marked, so it is included. So that would be A, S, A. Okay, and on this one down here, the three things that are marked are all sides. So it's side, 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 no other option there. Okay, so just make sure you know how to interpret these markings. So if you're given two triangles and you're told that they are congruent, remember this is a symbol for congruent. Okay, this is called your congruence statement. Okay, if you need to write that down, do that. Congruence statement. Okay, so our congruence statement says that X, I'm sorry, triangle ZXY is congruent to triangle BAC. Okay, you can look in the pictures, but sometimes the pictures are turned. Just because something is rotated doesn't mean it's not congruent anymore. Okay. So if it helps, if you have an image that's rotated or reflected or something where you can't just tell by looking, look at the order of the letters. Z is the first letter, B is the first letter. That means that those two are congruent. These are called corresponding parts, okay, because they're in the same spot. This is the first spot, first spot. So Z is congruent to B, okay? X is the middle letter, A is the middle letter. So A is congruent to X. Okay, and then we can do that again for Y and C. Okay, so now we know which angles correspond based on the order of the letters in the congruent statement. So that order of the letters makes a big difference. So if you're asked to list the angles or sides congruent, one of your examples could be angle X is congruent to angle A. Okay, for side lengths, one of your examples could be pick any side of the first triangle. So I'm just gonna pick X, Y. So X, Y, don't forget your segment symbol above it. We named segments with two letters and the symbol. Okay, X to Y goes from the marking of two to three. So over here, well here's A has two and C has three. So it would be A to C. So those are the corresponding sides that are congruent. And if again, you can't tell in the picture, use the congruent statement. Up here in our congruent statement, the first one that we're using, we said is X, Y. So X, Y is the middle and last letter. So if you look up here, that should be A, C, middle to last letter. So you can go by picture or by congruent statement. Okay, last but not least, I want you to just practice, see a little practice with the reverse of that. Rather than having to label it and give corresponding parts, you're given the markings in the picture, you need to be able to name the triangles in the correct order. Give the congruent statement. Okay, so the first triangle you can name in any order. It doesn't matter how you start. So we can say triangle, let's go in alphabetical order, LMN is congruent to triangle what? Okay, so L, okay, that's the first one I used. So it has one marking. So I'm going to have to go to the one that has one marking, in this case G. Okay, and then I go to M, and that's along the side with two tick marks. 
So along the side with two tick marks takes me to H. And that leaves F. Okay, this one, these images were not rotated at all, so it was very easy to see L M N G H F. But again, sometimes those figures can be rotated, so make sure you're checking the markings. If you are asked the reason why is triangle L M N congruent to triangle G H F, that's when you tell me the congruence shortcut. Is it S S S, A S A, etc.? So look at your markings. I have two sides. So this is a side, a side, and an angle. This angle is included, so the rule used here is side, angle, side. So you would say these two triangles are congruent by side, angle, side. Okay, in this second example here, looks like it's slightly rotated. It's not exactly the same. Okay, remember you can name the first triangle in any order you like. So I'm going to go alpha order again, Q, R, S is congruent to triangle what? Okay, so Q is the angle with no marking. So if I look over here, the one with no marking is T. Okay, and then I go to R, has one arc. Okay, so over here, the one arced angle is V, and that leaves U. So triangle QRS is congruent to triangle TVU. Okay, and if you're asked by what, congruence shortcut or rule. Okay, we have a side, an angle, and an angle. Okay, so this side is included, it's in between the two angles that are marked. So that is ASA. -A. Okay, make sure you do not write AAS or SAA. -A. These two are exactly the same thing. You can write them in reverse order, but in this case, those are not true because it is an included side. It needs to be in between. So those would be wrong. Okay, so you need to be able to write the triangle in the correct order and give the rule. 